Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. It's um a perfectly quiet morning. One can actually hear oneself think. And um it's a fresh day free of, of any fuckery. Which is always nice. And uh Something struck me during the, the last few days as um, one engages with people in real life on um, online social media platforms like YouTube that um, I mentioned in my other Pagan Monk video where um, There's a concept in esoteric thought, as above, so below, which is uh, profound and um, all-encompassing in many ways, but um, I won't go into that here. I, uh, but the thought, the, the core idea of that, um, where thought creates and, and affects physical reality I think is the, the core issue here um, because everything is, is energy as we have already established uh, whatever level of reality or consciousness or being one engages in it's all energy and energy vibration and um, with my last video about detaching from the drama sphere and all that, all that kind of stuff it sort of fits in with that, um, but more generally, I suppose. It's, um, you notice when you do engage with online drama, or even if you're talking to someone face to face, and you ask, you know, innocently, how are you? And they go into this long, winding, negative um, explanation of all their problems and you notice how you feel afterwards drained and lifeless and thick and heavy yeah that's what I'm talking about here um, everything affects you in some way or another because as I said we're all everything is energy and energy affects other energy and um, emotions like Anger um, are very powerful energies. And look around. How many cold-hearted, mean people do you see today? Well, that creates energy, especially collective energy, which is a group of a few too many people all resonating the same energy frequency, vibration, and that makes that energy even more powerful. So when you have a lot of, especially when you're living in the city and you have a lot of, you're surrounded by impatient, mean, cold people, that energy is going to affect you. And um, especially in one's online journeys, where basically you're usually at home, um, sort of disarmed because you're in your own space. And that usually is means safety and comfort however this is now this is one of my main issues with the online world by achieving that state in one's own space oh <laughs> i've got the lord of the rings online <laughs> patching nice sorry about that <laughs> um and because you're in your own space and um yeah, hell of a game, by the way, Lord of the Rings Online, check it out. And because you're in your own space and you're you're disarmed because you don't have to face people face to face. So those those in customer service or any kind of people interaction work will know what I'm talking about. Um, you, you don't have to have your, your guards and your shields up. You're in your own space, which means safety and comfort and you can be... You can fully relax and be yourself. However, because these days we engage in the online world, that means dealing with all manner of this type of fuckery there as well. Right? And of course, that brings a whole different set of um, behavioral modifications that one needs. 
because it means the energy of drama and fuckery and all manner of negativity that one encounters online bombard you when you're in a non-defensive state. Especially if it's people who you will never meet ever in your life. Except maybe a couple of lads in the UK. You know who you are. Uh, having a point at an old pub would be awesome one day. But anyway. <laughs> um, one of whom has actually detached and um, deleted his channel and left. You sir are a fucking wise man. But anyway. Um... You know, so these people that you interact with negatively online, you will never ever meet them in your life. And yet, you, we all, allow them to affect us negatively. Which of course then affects our state of mind and um, the energy of our collective energy bodies and how we feel. You feel sort of, like I said... Thick and heavy and lifeless and just out of it. And that goes, that, that's for anything. That, that relates to anything we take into it, in with our senses. Whether it be online news, whether it be what such and such a um, country's leader is doing, um what such and such celebrity is doing, what the SJWs are doing with Star Wars or Marvel or whatever else. Yeah, I have indulged very heavily in, in that latter group. And you realise it really is affecting your state of mind. And it really is for no good reason. You can't change any of this. You can't make it positive in any way all you can do is vote with your wallet and leave it at that and the world news um i'm sorry about that i don't really from one perspective give a fuck at the end of the day it has nothing directly to do with me so i mean okay yes when you hear stories about this happened in such a place and it's terrible and all that. Right. Um, what can you directly do? Maybe someone set up a, a charity or something and you can donate. Okay, do that. And leave it at that. Um, because I think our human faculty of empathy and compassion is overloaded, to be honest. Because we're inundated by all this information that's happening all over the world, which we have no direct contact with and never will have. So, you know, my, my, my favourite was only because the, the media was so silent on it. The, um, the church bombings in Sri Lanka a month ago, where 210 people were killed, whatever, and, uh, or thereabouts, and no one actually gave a fuck. The media was silent. And of course, the usual reaction is, oh, it's the Muslims, and suddenly you have intense hatred and negativity towards Islam. Well, I have issues with all manner of isms, but um, these isms are then affecting you negatively because you're giving them the power to affect your state of mind and your state of being and awareness. So it's very, very important to constantly monitor what you take in because all the negativity that you take in within yourself becomes your world becomes your your view becomes your reality as above so below and so i started this day with my favorite um tolkien middle earth based music by a um, musical combo called um Clamavi de Profundus. Yeah, I'll give the link to them um, to their channel in my video description. Um, it was really moving, stirring, well written um, music to accompany um, some of Tolkien's verses and such in in his works, and um, that really I noticed the effect it had. Any kind of 
positive, uplifting, or even well-written music, whatever it is, affects you positively. Hey, even when I'm listening to my metal, <laughs> you know, um, because you know it's well written, it's well composed, it's creativity. It's someone created this, and that is a very powerful energy vibration. So, may I suggest you be very careful, not only detach, as I said in my previous video. From all the drama sphere fuckery and all the all that stuff. But in general, you know, people who overdose on the news every single day, I mean, okay, and then you become all paranoid and fearful and angry and upset because you it's injustice and you can't do anything about it. And okay, and then what? You're left a um, a negative mess. Yes, you're going to be surrounded by ego-minded assholes who are going to piss you off. And if you knew how to force choke them, there would be a lot of dead bodies on the ground. Yes, I know. I feel like that every day and deal with it. Yes, you're going to deal with more stupid people. It's only going to get worse. The more people are going to be more reliant on those little fucking smartphones. <laughs> Smartphone, then there's a contradiction in terms. <laughs> Um, the, the worse it's going to be. I'm finding myself at work having to do people's thinking for them more and more than I used to. Yes, that's only going to get worse. And if I may be, um, if I can give um, props to my Buddhist people. Um, yeah, th th their techniques are actually spot on. Teaching how to detach and how to be mindful of where your mind goes. Because there are two things you can actually directly change and affect. Your breathing and your thoughts. And those two things are very powerful. And if you do find yourself really pissed off by someone or something, whatever it is, just do some deep breathing to start with. That will immediately calm you down. Then you can take it further and detach and not look at the news anymore I haven't for many many years gone out and sat down to watch the news Pfft, geez let's see the late 80s early 90s <laughs> um, there's just no point it's fear-mongering negative fuckery which in this world that we're living in there's more than than enough of it so the only person you can affect is yourself there's a good thought for you for the day. The Lone Wolf on Guitar, out.